you have the opportunity to go to the NBA and play against the greatest players in the world, that doesn't get you going. I don't think anything will. It's like a dream come true. Okay, I shot five air balls on national TV in front of millions of people that cost us a series, and I'm 18, I'm fine, dude. And then after that, it's okay, well, why did those air balls happen? Got it, right? I gotta get stronger. Uh, I gotta train differently. The weight training program that I'm doing, I gotta tailor it for an 82 game season mm. so that when the playoffs come around, my legs are stronger and that ball gets there. So I look at it, with rationale and say, okay, well, the reason why I shot air balls is because my legs aren't there. I go, well, next year they'll be there. That was it. Done. Done. You're playing against the Golden State Warriors. Score is 107, 109. You guys are close to getting into the playoffs. You know exactly what happens in the game. You go up, you're about to take your shot, and then all of a sudden, boom, yeah. Achilles happens, right? I have no clue how the hell this guy did it. He went and hit the free throws, and then you walked off the stage. This, this is another obstacle. This obstacle cannot define me. It's not going to cripple me. It's not going to be responsible for me stepping away from the game that I love. I'm going to step away on my own terms. And that's when the decision was made that, you know what, I'm doing it. Everything was done to try to learn how to become a better basketball player. Everything. Everything. And so when you have that point of view, then literally the world becomes your library to help you to become better at your craft. So because you know what you want, the world's giving you exactly the information you 100%, need to become better at it. Because you know what you're looking for. So many guys tell stories about your work ethic. Yeah. What was really your work ethic like, and for how long did you stay disciplined? Um, well, I mean... I mean, every day, I mean, since, you know, 20 years, I mean, it was an everyday process and trying to figure out strengths and weaknesses. For example, jumping ability, man, my vertical was a 40, it wasn't a 46 or a mm -hmm. 40, 45. Um, my hands are big, but they're not massive, right? So you got to figure out ways to strengthen them. So your hands are strong enough to be able to palm a ball and do the things that you need to do. Uh, quickness, I was quick, but not insanely quick. I was fast, but not ridiculously fast, right? So I had to rely on skill a lot more. I had to rely on angles a lot more. I had to study the game a lot more. And, uh, but I enjoyed it though. So like from the time I was, I can't remember when I started watching the game, I studied the game mm. and it just never changed. I see a lot of players take vacations with other players that are close friends. And oh, just take vacations just to take vacations or just hang out just to hang out. Like I, I, I'm not, I never did that. Why, why, not, though? Why, why, why didn't you do that? What, well, because when I retire, I didn't want to have to say, I wish I would have done more. I don't want that.
Do you think your daughter might want to play in the WNBA? She does for sure. She does? I, I don't, I mean, this, this kid, man. She's Wouldn't like, that be great? Dude, man, I, I'm telling you. The best thing, the best thing that happens is when we go out and, and, and fans will come up to me and she'll be standing next to me and they'll be like. Hey, you gotta have a boy. You and V gotta have a boy, man. You have somebody carry on the tradition, the legacy. She's like, oh, I got this. <laughs> And to Kobe for writing Dear Basketball, uh, it's a message for all of us. Whatever form your dream may take, uh, it's through passion and perseverance that the impossible is possible. Uh, I don't know if it's possible. I mean, as basketball players, we're really supposed to shut up and dribble, but I'm glad, I'm glad we do a little bit more than that. Um, thank you, Academy, for this amazing honor. Thank you, John Williams, for such a wonderful piece of music. Thank you, uh, Verizon, for believing in the film. Thank you, Molly Carter. Without you, we wouldn't be here. And to my wife, Vanessa, our daughters, Natalia, Gianna, and Bianca, te amo con tutto il mio cuore. You are my inspiration. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Appreciating all this, you know, the journey that we've been on. You know, we've been through our ups and been through our downs. I think the most important part is that we all stay together throughout. You guys will always be in my heart. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, God, I love you guys. What can I say? Mamba out.